everybody, here we are with uh, Mark in uh, Modesto Sand and Gravel. Today we got called out because this clutch was feeling kind of funny. He says it pulls, it uh, jerks. It's an old truck. It's a lot of wear and tear. We're looking at it. I believe that the leakages on the clutch are pretty bad. The bushings on it are bad. It's an old truck. We're going to go ahead and uh, start with the linkage. Secure it, make sure it's nice and, and secure. I checked underneath. Uh, our motor mounts are pretty bad. They're going through the metal already. We're going to go ahead, uh, take those apart, find out if we can uh, either fix them, fabricate some new ones. Some way we got to fix it. They don't sell the parts no more. They're pretty old. We're going to find out what's going on with this. Replace what we need to replace. It's an old truck, but they use it a lot out here in the yard. They use it as a water truck. Make sure they keep the dust down. It's going to be here for a long time still, so. The motor mount, where you can pretty much see. It right here. It's broken. That should be missing. That's missing a piece. You see how rude that is? Uh, impact, pneumatic impact. There it does the job. Line up our compressor. Put some real power to it. Okay, I'm taking off the bolts right now from the motor mounts that goes right through them. And uh, the wrench is one and an eighth, socket is one and an eighth. And I'm trying to hold the nut on the top while I hit the, the impact at the same time. But it's full of oil, dirt. The motor is uh, moving up and down and when they're trying to get it on gear it pretty much uh, either they're stalling it or they might uh, yank the drive line. So they just want to smooth out that that first gear when they take off. The linkages on it is pretty bad. There's a lot of wear on it. I think everything just adds up to it. The clutch has been replaced already, but everything around it hasn't. It was our first nut, and it's double nutted. So we're gonna take the second nut off. Our bolt that goes right through the center of our our mounts. It's pretty much a saddle, and the engine sits on it, and uh, the engine is going almost right through that saddle. So there's quite a bit of damage in there. We're gonna go ahead and lift it up a little bit. Lift it off that plate and uh, make a new plate. Put it in between. Put a bushing uh, between the two and then uh, tighten it back down. And that should solve that problem. Now, we're bracket, more mount bracket right there. You see it's missing a chunk of metal. We're gonna plate it inside, inside there in between. And then we're gonna bring the engine down and uh, put another plate on the bottom and sandwich it out together. It's always very uncomfortable to work on these things. Keeps you in shape. I 
can't say the same thing for every big mechanic out there, but it does for me. I'm gonna try to hit this one through the top, see if I can get it through the top. There it is. That's our bad piece right there. As you can see, it's quite a bit of damage. Out of where they didn't fix it on time. That's what happens. You can see it ate up pretty much. Uh, it's half an inch thick, ate half of it, and then the rest, I guess, it broke, cracked uh, within time. Motor just slamming on it. We're gonna wait and uh, see what we can do with this. Maybe even fabricate a new one, or uh, we're thinking of putting a solid piece in there, but the way this is set up, I don't think it's gonna work. This is aluminum. We might just make a steel place for them, brand new uh, mounts for them, so I believe that's going to be our best bet. We're going to go to the shop and fabricate something, see what we got, and we'll keep, uh, we'll keep you guys on, uh, on the other side. on my shop. I want to let you guys know. This is a uh, Mark's with a semi gravel. We gave us a, a chance to work in here. See what we can fabricate. He says uh, pretty much, look at the sheet metal. It's, it's not that big of a... Not much choice in here, but we'll make it work. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, here we are doing our tracing our jigs. This is what we're gonna be making our brackets with. We found some material. Uh, not the greatest material, but it's gonna work. Uh, we have our square boxes. There's gonna be our holes in here. These are sides. Uh, we're gonna start cutting it and welding and you guys will see it all ended up pretty good It's okay, uh, we got it done, we got our brackets, they're not the greatest, they're not my best work, but they're gonna work. Uh, we duplicated uh, this one, this is uh, made out of aluminum, we made it out of steel. And uh, yeah, there's no uh, wear and tear on that one. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put it on, measure it, actually we already did measure, we just gotta go ahead and uh, Mock it up in there. And I believe that's gonna work. We went in and uh, cut, welded, drilled. It's hot, long day. Uh, we did them around three and a half hours. And uh, here we are, put them on. This is a 1966 Rio. It's over 20 years old. They don't make these parts no more. They don't have them. They're pretty much done. So you gotta have fabricate them. It'll be faster, easier, and plus the uh, customer didn't wanna wait. He needs a truck tomorrow. We're gonna try to get this one done. Then gonna be like closing up the yard, so we gotta rush and finish as much as we can. So they can use the one tomorrow. We have a 
really tight spot and I think we made the hole just with no no clearance and we're just struggling to get it in there we might have to hold the bolts the holes uh, for the bolts a little more so we'll have a little bit of uh, room to play around with Yeah, we might as well just do that. Make the holes a little bit bigger. So we'll have a little bit of room to play with. Or else we're gonna find us here next day and we're still not gonna be able to put it on. <laughs> we are in the Central Valley and it does get hot out here. Okay, let's check these arms out. These are the same size. Okay, let's check these arms out. Yeah, I wonder if I'm going to hunt them out a little bit more. Alright, excuse the, the noise. <laughs> smaller fan and uh, <laughs> some new bell adjusters. Hold on, hold on. Do you want to just go for it? Try it, it's going to break anyways. Yeah, but it won't let stuff just going around. Well, I mean, it's free now, try it. Diamond Rios and Rios. I bought it at an auction. Really? It's been good. I've never heard of a Rio before in my life. It, they're, it's, they don't make them anymore. A Rio. The, all this thing does is go around little circles around the yard. We don't care. But it's got a big tank and a huge pump. Look at the size of the pump on it back there. The water pump. That thing right there? That looks like an engine? A big diesel engine. It puts out water from way out there. It ain't too pretty, but it does the job.
okay everybody pretty happy with for today with today uh, job uh, not exactly what uh, I wanted to do or okay I'm pretty happy because uh, one thing it did needed the motor mounts you guys seen them the original ones were ah uh, broken they were almost the engine was almost going through him that helped a lot more of a solid engine <coughs> Uh, he was complaining about his clutch going off and uh, I just been rough and <coughs> anyhow we found that we found a uh, few things I told him about uh, his linkages he didn't want to change his linkages for his clutch they're very 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 they're very very worn down we still need to change those when it in uh one thing that was uh, bad that I didn't like it and I didn't it wasn't my thing and, and that truck was filthy. I came in all clean. Look at me now. It was a mess. It's a mess, definitely a mess. I believe next time I should probably uh, pressure wash it before I work on it. Be a lot better. Be a good uh Good idea to do or tell the guy or the owner, hey, pressure wash it next time before I start working on it because you just mm, no. anyhow. We so did uh, fabricate those motor mounts. I did get some help at the end. Uh, we get everything uncomplicated after the um, the bolts were pretty much frozen. They had a very there. There was a lot of tight spots that we couldn't get to the bolts. One of um, Mark's helper came and they let loan me a hand, uh, which I do appreciate. That was pretty cool of them. Uh, really, really, really appreciate that. That, that. that was the second hand that I really needed. I didn't think this job was going to take this long. I didn't think it was going to be that complicated. But at the end, it did kind of. difficult also due to the fact that they were not uh, original motor mounts we did fabricate them they turned out actually it turned out great but they're they're fabricated and not the original we had one ball one hole that didn't quite match that gave me a little bit of problem I had to run the drill bit again on that one hole that took me a little bit of time overall we did awesome Customer was happy. He said he still felt a little bit of the clutch. Uh, he wasn't exactly very happy with the clutch, but I told him at the beginning, we gotta work with the linkages. We gotta replace those linkages. He didn't quite want to do that because uh, it is an old truck and he just wants to keep beating the head. Just squeezing the, squeezing the juice out of it. I can't say bad words. Uh, yeah, he's pretty much just squeezing the last bit of it and uh, he still wants to use it and I told him hey, you want to keep using it You want to make it right? Let put the linkages on. He didn't want to now uh, He agreed with me. He's like, yeah, I believe you're right about the linkages after uh, all the motor mounts were done uh, He should have done it first That's what happens when they don't listen. Don't, they put you aside now now he saw the difference on the motor mounts and also he believes that he does need the linkages. It's really, really hard with just the clutch when you have so much slack on your linkages, on your clutch uh, pedal. Overall, we did pretty good today. It was a long day, I'm pretty tired. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. I don't know if it's at 10 o'clock or something like that. Um, <coughs> it's kind of late. We're all tired. Even uh, the guy that was helping me seemed pretty tired. Well, we got it done and uh, we're on the way home. Get a shower, get some groove. Grab on, grab on, grab on sorry. I get some grandma and uh, get 
get ready for next day tomorrow. See what uh, holds us. You never know.